Clark. Oh, she dropped Allen. Aldo. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. You know, there was a lot of WNBA games. Okay, a lot of them exaggerated a little bit, but it was three. You know what I'm saying? And, the, you know, we had a lot of games by some rookie sensations. They going crazy again. But most importantly, more importantly, you know, we got to see DT, Diana Taurasi, you know, one of the quotes. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? She the, she the WNBA logo, let me tell it. You know what I'm talking about? We go act like we don't know that's, that's DT on the logo. With the, with, with the bun, come on, we know that's DT. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we, we got her first time going up against Caitlin Clark, you know, the rookie sensation out of Indi for the Indiana Fever, you know? So first up to start, man, you know, um, <laughs> the, the game was contentious, man. I'm going to start with that right there, man. You know, during the course of the game, they missed an easy foul call uh, uh, on CC uh, from behind the line by Kalia Cooper. I, I didn't really understand that. You know, even the announcers are like, hold on, that should have been a foul, but they called it an offensive foul. Like, you know, with Reggie Miller, you, should, you know, the trend he started when you jump into somebody. So, you know, I, but, you know, they missed that call uh Kalia Copper I thought Kalia Copper found her but it is what it is you know I guess let, let's play with the let's play with the conspiracy theories of the race baby right so I guess I guess the white referees all three white referees in the game you know because they're all white they're racist against Caitlin Clark you know they're racist against CC right right yeah, right. Exactly. So it was just a bad call, missed call. You know what I'm saying? Calls go either way. If you watch sports, that's how it goes, man. Stop with the race bait. Just watch these these wonderful women go crazy on the hardwood. You know what I'm talking about? Stop putting your old, stop stop imposing and projecting your old racist, uh, ignorant ways on the game of basketball. It's just a sport. Let's get right. And they're doing a phenomenal job, phenomenal job balling. So let's get back to it, man. So Clark... Man, she drops my boo thing, Rebecca Allen from Australia. You know what I'm talking about? She dropped her with a me behind the back, step back. Whoop, whoop. Allen. Clark, oh, she dropped Allen. Out though. But she missed the shot badly. It would hit all glass. So I'll tell you this, man. Allen is lucky because if CC would have made that, it would have just been da 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 Sports Center. <laughs> so they had a laugh about it. I thought that was dope, you know. So she missed the shot, but but she definitely dropped Rebecca Allen on the floor with it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but the game, like I said, became a little bit bit chippy with BG getting a technical foul for shoving Aaliyah Boston like in the shoulder neck area. Um. You know, oh, A.B., man, Aaliyah Boston, man, she has to be one of the sweetest ballers ever, man. She just seems like she's just so nice and genuine and media savvy, bro. But, 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 most importantly, she's a baller, you know, and, and, and B.G.'s a baller too, Brady Grider. She don't play that junk. She will dunk on your head top, yeah. you know. But uh, mid-game, you know, uh, it was it was announced that Kayla Clark, you know, she broke the NBA, WNBA, excuse me, WNBA rookie record for the most assists total in the season by a rookie. And she broke it already, so that's a good look for her, you know what I'm saying? And with the exception, we're going to go to the other side of Phoenix Mercury, you know, with the exception of BG, the Mercury mostly struggled on the offensive end, you know, and it really became prevalent in the fourth quarter, you know, it really showed out, it showed up then when they missed a lot of opportunities to retake the lead because they had the lead in like the first and second quarter. And you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, BG, she led the, she led the Mercury with, with 24 points, but it just wasn't enough as a fever, uh, win, you know, 88 to 82, man. And, um, just, just to add a little uh, more interesting tidbits, this is the first win for the Indiana Fever against a team that's 500 or better. You know, so that's kind of that's kind of surprising right there, being so deep in the season. That's the first time being somebody that's over 500, 500 or better. Excuse me, that's at least 500. You know, and um, and also though, which is really remarkable and dope, with Caitlin Clark's 15 points, 12 assists, and nine boards, she almost, almost, almost became the first rookie in WNBA history to record a triple double. <laughs> So she's almost there, you know what I'm saying? I, don't know, I wonder who's going to get it. It's, gonna, it's definitely going to be between, if I had to guess, it's going to be between her and Angel Reese. You know, people love that. Any type of battle they can make between those two, you know, the people go love it. Yeah. You know, but she almost got a, 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 a recorded a triple-double, but not quite. She, you know, she was one rebound shot, one rebound shot. Excuse me, I can't talk. You know, and the Connecticut Sun star, Alyssa Thomas, you know, who's a beast of a player, she has the most uh, triple-doubles in, in WNBA. You know, but uh, so Fever, take that one. Next up, the next game that we had is speaking of uh, rivals, you know, Angel Reese. <laughs> <laughs> AR, uh, go, uh, the Chicago Sky going against the Minnesota Lynx, which we saw the Minnesota Lynx beat the Sky. It was a pretty low scoring game. You know, in fact, only one person between the two teams in Cecilia Zandalicini on the Lynx shot over 50% of the field. Only one person between two teams shot over 50% of the field? Damn. 
I'm sorry. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the Lynx win a lower scoring game, like I said before, uh, 70 to 62 behind Aficia Collier's uh, double double. You know, she's a she's a monster on that court, man. And uh, you know who else had a double double? Come on, you know who did it. <laughs> you know who did Angel Reese. You know, doing what she usually does, making it like making it look like a walk in the park. AR is officially the number one leading rebounder in the WNBA as well, swapping places with Asia Wilson, who was number one before. You know, uh, in addition to that, of course, with this double double, oh AR, she has ten consecutive double doubles now. You know, as, as she continues to stretch the record that she already set as a rookie. You know, so she her double doubles are just going up. <laughs> You know, both her and Kayla Clark are doing well. I, I love to see it. You know, I, I, my heart goes out to uh, Brink Brink. You know, she she tore her ACL, so we like to see her on the court. And I love what Rakia, what Rakia Jackson is doing at LA Sparks. Doing all the rookies, you know, Kimberly Cordo. So I'm not going to name everybody, but you know what I'm talking about. The rookies out there doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? But the grown women out there, they doing their thing too, you know what I'm talking about? So we can't forget about them. And lastly, to wrap things up, man, the um, the other game, which was the first game, we had the New, we saw the New York Liberty beat the Atlanta Dream by a score of 81 to 75. Uh, Brianna Brianna Stewart, old Stewie, she dropped a 22-point, 12-rebound double-double for New York. And Tina Charles, you know, her altruistic self, she got such a kind heart, such a kind heart. She's so sweet, you know. She contributed a 16-point, 12-rebound double-double as well for the Dream, you know. But Alicia Gray for Atlanta, she had the game high between the two teams with 24 points. But it just wasn't enough to uh, beat the Liberty. Liberty won 81-75, man. So that's it for WNBA today. We had a total of three games. We saw the ballers go crazy, you know what I'm saying? We saw a lot of good games, a lot of good coverage on them games. You know, so I look forward to seeing more, man. Appreciate y'all all as always. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, always remember, with God, we could do anything. Without God, we are nothing. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me. The doctor's out. Peace. That's it for the WNBA recap, baby. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.